What up, everybody? It's your boy, Let Us Pray. I hope you're having a blessed day and prosperous day. I'm back with that NBA rant video. If you didn't know, there's kind of a ridiculous Twitter beef going on between one of the NBA's uh, best defenders of all time, former NBA Finals MVP. Um, I can go on and on. Uh, first team defensive player of the year. Um, former 76er, former Denver Nugget. Former Golden State Warrior. That guy. He don't like to be called Iggy, but everybody calls him Iggy anyway. Andre Iguodala was watching uh, WNBA basketball a couple days ago. He puts a comment on Twitter um, saying the young lady, I believe num the number was number 23, uh, number 22 or 23, I can't even remember. Uh, but he just said number 23 is balling. I think number 23 for the Washington Mystics. She's balling, right? Um, paying her a compliment. She went out, balled out. Uh, I think she had 28 points, 10 rebounds, something like that. Showing some love to the young lady. This young lady, I, I had to look up her name because I, I hadn't even heard of her before. Um, Ariel Powers. I believe her name is Ariel. I think it's Ariel Powers. She tweets Andre, Andre Iguodala back and says, put some respect on my name. What? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> and, I, and I don't mean this in a sexist manner at all. Like, I've never heard of this woman. I've, ne I've never, I, I didn't know she existed until um, she had this beef with Andre Iguodala. So, um, young lady, you might want to humble yourself, first of all. Second of all, you got one of the NBA's most, uh, man, most intellectual, most astute players, um, a baller in its own right, three-time NBA champion, NBA Finals MVP, first team all defense. You got this man calling your number out, complimenting you, and the only thing you can think of is put respect on my name. I don't know where you got that sense of entitlement from. Uh, you know, some might call it swag, some might call it an edge, but it just sounds ridiculous to me. Um, it's very rude. Uh, and it just comes from a place of ignorance. It comes from a place of ignorance, man. Um, these young, some of these youngsters, man, you don't know nothing about paying your dues. You have a couple good games. Um, Whatever the case may be, you make you make one or two hit records. You want to be considered the greatest. You haven't paid your dues yet. You haven't paid your dues. Um, there was a lady that came to my window. I'm not even going to say her name because I don't want to put her on blast, okay? Oh, shoot. Um, I don't want to put her on blast because um, she was... Uh, uh, and WNBA great and a college basketball women's player, uh, a, a great, a freaking Hall of Fame. She might be in the Hall of Fame. I, I helped her about a month or so ago. I had my job. Um, she happened to, uh, you know, come to me, get assisted by me. I was kind of peeping her initially, and then, you know, when I saw her name, I was like, oh snap, right? We started talking. Very humble, very uh, generous just low key just um just an all around just seems like an all around great person extremely humble right i'm like wow like you just like i can't believe really like you're here in front of me i'm not a huge women's basketball uh fan like that but i know the name and i respect her game i've seen her play um she's won championships i believe in college i don't know if she won in college but i believe she's won a couple wnba championships um I think she might have even been an MVP, if I'm not mistaken. Um, definitely an all-star, multiple-time all-star in the WNBA. She's one of the most uh, chill, one of the most humble, one of the coolest uh, professional athletes I've ever had the chance of meeting. Um, because when you meet someone, sometimes, you know, there's a... a say a stigma or you know there's a um, sometimes there's like a uh, prejudice say you know athletes are stuck up 
this and that. There's a reputation out there. Uh, but she was nothing like that. She was real cool. We laughed, we joke around. I actually asked her opinion on the, you know, the NBA bubble, what she thought about it. And I'm not gonna, uh, you know, repeat her words, but uh, yeah, she was just real cool, real down to earth. And um, I say that to say this, young lady, Ariel Powers, I hope this gets back to you. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to throw shade on your shine. You know, you, if you if you swag, if you got a lot of swag and you got a you know an attitude and a chip on your shoulder, um, I mean by all means, I hey, you know what I'm saying. If that's what keeps you going, if that's what drives you to be great, then you know be great. But you don't have to be a jerk. You don't have to be uh, sensitive. You don't have to be rude. Especially to those who are trying to pay you compliments. Especially those who are in the same uh, uh, employment as you. Someone who's been there and already done what you're doing, and and been where you been where you're trying to go, and has accomplished what you're trying to accomplish currently. Okay, Andre Iguodala has done all that. He's done all that. He's been everywhere you're trying to go. And he's done everything that you're trying to do. He's a gold medalist. Uh, like I said, all defensive team, all first defensive team, uh, three-time champion, NBA Finals MVP. He's done everything you could ever think of trying to accomplish in your career, young lady. And he took the time out when he didn't have to to say, hey, number number 22, number 23, you out there balling. Um, who cares if he didn't say your name? Who cares? I remember the times I was playing. I don't care if anybody said my name. Come on now. Numbers, numbers sell jerseys, really. What do you think of when you think of number 23? You think of Michael Jordan and you think of LeBron James, number 23. What do you think of, what do I think of when I think of 21? I think of uh, Kevin Garnett. What do I think of when I think of 30? Number 30, I think of Steph Curry. Numbers sell jerseys. Like, get with the program, young lady. Um, stop being so sensitive. Uh, this generation really got to snap out of that, man. That sense of entitlement. You haven't done anything yet. Nobody owes you no respect on your name yet. Put in a few more years. Put in a put in five to ten more years of uh, good basketball and uh, win a few championships and get a, get a few MVPs. And then, um, then you can ask for some respect on your name, okay? So, um, it's your boy, Let Us Pray. I hope you're having a blessed and prosperous day. Uh, man, take care. It's much love. I know I don't get as many videos in as I uh, used to, but, you know, this is a topic right here I had to I had to speak on, man. Um, Andre Godala, man, keep doing what you're doing. Um, just a, everything I've heard about him, just a very respectful, very humble guy, very smart, very intellectual guy. Um, awesome, awesome uh, athlete, amazing basketball player, been a fan of his. Uh, back in his Philly days um, And I was just Man I was beyond elated when he came to the Warriors So uh, shout out to Shout out to Andre Iguodala Yes he does not like being called Iggy So I ain't gonna call him Iggy Andre Iguodala man keep doing what you're doing uh, We already know the young lady Well I mean I know this is this is my opinion If you have a difference of opinion you know We can agree to disagree But uh, she was foul She was foul She was uh, out of line for what she said and uh, you know what I'm saying? You may have went a little too far with some of the comments you made after that going back and forth. I just figure Andre, Andre Godala, man, you're like one of those eagles, bro. You're soaring high, brother. You've already you've already reached the pinnacle uh, three times of, uh, you know, the pinnacle of basketball, bro. You don't even need to go back and forth with someone who's not on your level, man. That's the only thing I'll say about it. Iguodala, you should have just, uh, you know, say what you had to say. And just left it at that, man. If she wants respect on her name, you know, let that be it. Uh, you don't have to try to bash her or degrade her or, you know, anything like that going back and forth. Um, but the young lady, uh, hopefully hopefully she learns from this. And maybe they can, you know, actually turn out to be, uh, uh, maybe not friends, but, you know, be civil, be cordial if they see each other out in public. So, it's your boy, Let Us Pray. Have a blessed and prosperous day. NBA rant, smash that like and subscribe button for your boy. Yes, basketball did start today. I don't even think I'm going to be watching it, to be honest, man. Warriors ain't in it, so it ain't really nothing for me to gain from watching these uh, scrimmage 
looking games with no fans. So much love to you, man. Peace and be blessed. Uh, make sure you wear your masks, uh, gloves if you have to, uh, social distance, stay at home if you don't have to go anywhere. Uh, but if you do go somewhere, be safe. Hope you and your family are well. Much love to you. If you have a loved one that's sick, my prayers and thoughts go out to them. My prayers and thoughts go out to you if uh, if you're sick, man, whether or not you got coronavirus or whatever you have. Pre-existing conditions, man. Much love, your boy. Let us pray. Is praying for you. Man, take care and be blessed. Peace and I'm out.